family life has been a little bit different for me. I was uh, born into a single parent household and around the age of seven or eight, I was placed in foster care. The steps of adulthood have been entirely up to me financially and all the other components of undertaking that. Since college was entirely in my hands, it was quite a financial burden for me and I didn't know where else to turn to besides a community college and it's been the best decision I've made. I have four children ranging from 10 to four, but even when I couldn't be there for them because I was sitting in a lecture hall, they never once felt like I wasn't there and that was the most important part of going back to college for me, that I didn't miss out on their lives. I was born and raised in Madeira. Um, I'm from a Hispanic family. I'm actually the oldest sibling and I'm the first to go to college, so I try to be a role model for my younger siblings. I chose to attend Clovis Community College because the instructors here are amazing. They help you. Um, they put the effort into actually teaching you and guiding you. They just know how to do their jobs. They know how to teach me and they help the students. They answer all the questions they need. So many students struggle with what classes do I register for to get out in the amount of time. Will my transfer recognize the units that I've taken? Have I done the right thing in my education? And Tasha has gone above and beyond as a counselor, and I'm sure every honor student gives her uh, much more praise than the average counselor does. Uh, in addition to that, I've had the most wonderful instructors. Mr. Burdick has been uh, very good at developing students in writing, and uh, Mrs. Martinez has been a great resource for me to develop my public speaking skills, which is something I feel that uh, will very well serve me in the future. Between Jared and Beth Rutledge, I think that my experience here is something that I'll tear up over every time I talk about it. <laughs> they have given me a power that I would have never had before. And the dreams that they have, I can continue for them. I just want to thank Gurdip and Patrick, who are my advisors for ASG. Uh, they're really positive and they've helped me shape myself here on this campus. All my communication instructors, uh, especially Erin Heasley, uh, she's one of my favorite instructors, and currently my two instructors, uh, Stephanie Briones and Anna Martinez. I want to go into maybe journalism and recreation administration to further my skills in being an activity instructor. My career goal is to graduate with a degree in business administration and specialize in human resource. Eventually, I would like to work my way up in public health so that I can possibly work in epidemiology, work with the public. There are so many programs, there are so many opportunities at this college that anybody who has a dream, anybody who has that drive to get where they want to go is going to be able to get there. It's very humbling to know that I could hopefully make the same contributions myself with this college degree that I have a whole big team of people supporting me to get. We're still small, but we're growing in many ways. We're very diverse. This campus is just filled with many different people, and it's great to see the instructors interact with the students, especially with faculty and staff. There's always somebody here to help you. There's always somebody who cares, and they care because this is our community, and it's been that way since my first day. Our instructors are top notch, and the facility uh, workers in every department, financial aid and student services are beyond wonderful to you. And I don't think that there's any place I would have rather started for a community college. Wouldn't have been possible without any one of the people involved at Clovis Community College. Thank you.